Hello guys, good morning Magandang araw, magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat mga kakugi Another day, another blessing na naman So yun mga kakugi Guys, andito tayo ngayon sa Naga City, Cebu Mayroon tayong binisita na isang Masasabi natin na backyard lang muna Pero ano to mga kakugi? Kasi imported <laughs> Ano siya guys? Uh, Cocker at the same time breeder from uh, North Carolina, USA uh, Mr. Rick Smith So, bibisitahin natin siya ngayon Siyempre, kasama natin sila Francis at saka si Sir Stephen Nako guys, nako Dala tayo ng tisyo, baka mag-nosebleed tayo sa English nito <laughs> Anyway mga kakugi, tabihan na nyo ang buong episode na ito Ang kaganapan sa itong pagbisita namin dito sa Naga City, Cebu kay Mr. Rick Smith from North Carolina, USA a cocker and a breeder at the same time na lang ngayon, dito na nagbe-base sa Cebu yun mga kakugi Mr. Rick, Mr. Rick is nandito to sa ano, sa Naga City sa harap lang ng price gas may price gas dito na ano na shop tapos harap ito, nandito na yung kanyang bahay so ito ngayon guys, pagpasok nyo yan it's a very spacious na property dito sa Naga City mga kakugi Ito ang sa harapan, inumpisahan na niya ang lagyan ng mga tipis, ang lalaki ng mga tipis. Guys, tinan nyo, ang laki ng weed. Tapos ang gamit lang niya is color roof. Color roof. So nandito ngayon, no, ongoing yung paggawa nila, ng pag-develop nila dito sa may harapan. Pero doon sa likuran, mayroon pa. I don't know, matanong natin mamaya. Let's ask Mr. Rick Smith kung gaano kalaki ang area niya. So dito guys oh, meron na Inumpisahan ng lagyan ng mga titis I don't know, ilang piraso to Tapos patuloy pa to Kasi nakita ko dito may ginagawa pa Yan, tingnan nyo Yan mm. Yan, going pa yung paggawa guys oh. Yan Tung Maying buntag. Maying yeah, buntag diha. Mm. Pilay target ninyo ang inyong buhaton man, ikila ka po. Sa usag adlaw po, baka ko mamay ukuan tulo. Tulo. Oh. Yeah, okay. Target ninyo pila ka po buhaton? Depende sa mga mo ipilay pa himo. Ah, oh, so wala oh. pa ikuan kung pilay. Okay, oh. Recycle to ning mga kwans. Oh, sa oh, recycle da rock of the house. Oh, gato mo yung panangtang, hindi mm. sag bago. Oh. Nya recycle na. Mm. Oh, gimo pins. On sa height ani. Patro. 4 feet ang height, ang width 1 1 feet, ay pila ito lang? Sintogis Sintogis, kanang sintogis, pila man naka feet Mga trees? Hmm, trees No, trees Trees Trees, 39 So, 3, uh, kuhan, 36, so, kuhan, 3 feet and 3 inches mm. Mm. Yung pala ang width Ang width pala nito guys, is 3 feet and 3 inches Tapos ang height niya is 4 feet So, yan ilalagay doon yan so ongoing ongoing wala pang definite wala pang specific numbers kung ilan ang gagawin basta tuloy tuloy lang basta may materialis basta may materialis trabaho doon ha? ayun eh shout out shout out 
Okay, sa inyo, kamusta? Oh. Okay, shout out. Oh, shout out ako sa kuang pamilya dito sa akong anak. Sa Negros Oriental, sa Ayungon. Sa Ayungon? Oo. Oh. Oo, oh, silingan na mong kanay, eh, kaprobinsya. Kaprobinsya. <laughs> <laughs> sing, ano ko sing? Junji Orviso. Junji? Oo, oh, Junji Orviso. Orviso dito? Oh. Or Orviso sa Barilos? Hmm. Ikaw hmm. e, ko sing? Oh, shout out sa Negros sa uh, pamilya sa kong sawa. Ito sa Niklos. Niklos po? Occidental. Oh, Oriental. Niklos Oriental. Oh, musta mo riya. Sa Gyulngan. Gyulngan. Nga lanutan na Plito. Uy. Ah. Yung, yung mga workers pala dito guys na kinawa ni Busbeck is ano pala? From Niklos. Imported. <laughs> Kaya ni, kinahing isang tawag. Anong tawag ito? All around. K kasi yung mga taga Negros magagaling sa manok yan yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> magagaling sa breeding magagaling sa handling tsaka pwede rin magkarpintero <laughs> aras ako sa salon ha okay. ako sa salon doon so yun so imported from Negros taga Negros pala yung mga tauhan ni ano dito sir Rick yeah. guys oh, sa likod oh. nako sila antit na una na Doon na. Hi, ma'am. Hello, sir. Good morning. Good morning. Sing ano mo, ma'am? Jennifer. Jennifer? Taga dito ka, ma'am, sa Aga? Taga West Poblacion ko, sir. West Poblacion? Mm-mm. Yung mo husband si Boss Rick? Mm, dili pa. Soon to be? Soon pa. <laughs> sana, sana. Sana. So, guys, oh. Laki ng area pa rito. Nandun sila kay Sona. Oh! <laughs> Yan, nandiyan sila guys oh. Hello sir! How you doing this morning? Yeah, very fine. How about you? Very, up. very busy. <laughs> well, we try to stay busy, my friend. Yeah. We try to stay busy. It's sir, plenty of work. Yes, yeah, sir. Rick Smith is from? Morganton, North Carolina, USA. Yeah. So, a, a cocker and breeder at the same time? I, I am uh, in America. I also ran an arena mm -hmm. and, and I was a referee. I've done referee, it all over yeah. there. So, yeah. So, yeah. why choose Cebu? Uh, my girlfriend. <laughs> because of your girlfriend. <laughs> well, you know, I like the area. I really do. Now, I was in uh, Roja City mm -hmm. to start with and I went to Candelera and uh, in, over in the Manila area. Nice, nice weather over there. Mm -hmm. But then my girlfriend was from here. So I came here and uh, so you decided to I stay like here. Naga. I like this area. I really yeah. do. It's uh, it's it's just convenient. Yeah, very. You good. know, it's not the best weather in the world. <laughs> yeah. So you 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 buy you bought this place? Well, I've got it leased. I, you know, I'm a foreigner, so, so they won't you, allow uh, me yeah, to yeah, buy. Yeah, yeah. You know, so I have long-term lease in this. We got the front house. Well, it's about eight thousand square here, mm. all fenced in. Uh, on the main road so it you know it's convenient for me very convenient uh, i like that that it you know i'm right here next to the city we can get our supplies we don't have to travel far yeah uh the mayor himself is opening an arena here yeah yeah in march in march right up the street mm -hmm. so that's gonna the, the be mayor, very convenient mayor. maybe someday you will put up a aggravit an aggravit business there in front. well that's the plans that's the plans we've been here <laughs> we've been here about three months uh in this particular uh area right here mm -hmm. so and there was lots of work to do here unfortunately it had been abandoned for about five years mm -hmm. it had grown up tremendously trees had blown over as you can see uh, man we've worked our butts off yeah <laughs> since when you were here in the philippines I, I came here just as soon as the pandemic was over and they oh, allowed okay. me i mean within four or five days when they said you can fly i had a ticket and i was gone <laughs> <laughs> so, so I came here and I, I landed in, of course, Manila. I went to Rojas City and I had a small place over there. And unfortunately, I got a bug bite. Ooh, bug bite then? A bug bite got infected. Mm, infected. But I was here in Cebu looking at properties when that happened. And I went to the hospital and long story short, mm -hmm. uh, I had to go back to America and have it operated on yeah. and then came back. Then you came back. So. So it's more than three years now since uh, a little since over the be, first time you went here. Be, uh, how long has it been? It be, be three years in March, maybe. Yeah, yeah. March is coming. I think that's when. Well, yeah. Mm -hmm. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, there, that's your uh, soon-to-be wife. 
Well, she we can't get. She's still married. Oh, she's still married. Her, her husband. We don't know where her husband's at. She's not oh, not so seen her husband in over ten years. Uh, so we don't know where he's at. Yeah, you know, so missing you know how it goes over here. Yeah. <laughs> so. so you know the voice already. Yes, yeah, I'm there. Uh, and, and, and purchase some good roosters. Do you have, uh, do you have uh, a friend there, a uh, Sabongero friend in Naga? I don't have any. Uh, I mean, I've met a, a, a couple of people. I met a, a gentleman yesterday that that is uh, like the son to the mayor here in the community. Okay. So he's going to introduce me to the mayor this week, maybe tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, so we can get on first name basis with him. Uh, you know, I'm a firm believer. You need to know your politicians and you know, yeah, people like that. Yeah, it's very important. Yeah. Uh, you know, in this kind of business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, the, you know, uh, anyway, you have a very nice place. Yeah. Well, yeah. thank you, thank you. It's work in progress. It's a work in progress. We got a long ways to go. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, like I said, we've been here about Take three months, and uh, and everything you see, we built. Uh, there was nothing here when we started. We be, we get, we go to Bacolod. We we uh, we participate in five star derby. Uh huh. Yeah, we have champion. Champion. champion yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Now, you, last uh, last December. First night. Cebuano no, okay. first champion, in champion in Bacolod. Well, yeah, I was champion over in Rojas. You know, uh, I got. I, I did start a new uh, Facebook account yesterday or day before with the first flight. The name of my farm is First Flight GF, Game First Flight Game Farm. So I started a little Facebook account with that to show some of my achievements since I've been here in the Philippines mm. and some of my achievements while we're in the States. Um, so yeah, we're, we're really interested in getting started. I do not have a handler. We're doing everything here ourselves. Yeah. My, my two boys that work for me are not chicken guys. They're, chicken guys, they're, they're just they're, uh, they're helpers. Yeah, yeah. They're helpers, and, but, but and, they are from Negros. Yeah. They're, they're from very Negros. good help. Mm. I mean, I, I really appreciate those boys. They, you know, showed them what I want and they built it for me and keep my place mowed down maybe, and stuff. Maybe, so. maybe so tip. Maybe someday we, 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 we will go together with uh, Sir Rick I hope so. to yeah. Bacolod. So. Now, you yeah. invited me to, yeah, the derby. to the Derby to yeah. the 15th. Yeah. Next month. We plan on going there. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to take two entries. Uh, I don't know that I'll make two entries, but we're definitely going to make one entry. And that'll yeah. be your yeah. roosters. Yeah. That'll be those sweater crosses, yeah. maybe yeah. one of the black. That, that, the, the, the last part of my uh, in, in Bacolod is the brother of your, I don't yeah. Know, the, yeah. the red. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I really like them. Uh, I tell you, I put them through a, what I call a pre keep about two weeks ago for about seven days. Uh, I didn't feed them, you know, the, the, my my recipe, so to speak. But I put them through a keep and sparred them a little bit and hand worked them to calm them down, get them used to me. Very good. <laughs> Very good. Recipe. How long we, you've been uh, keeping chickens from? There in the U.S. What I mean? Is yeah, yeah. I, I started fighting roosters, or I shouldn't say fighting. I started showing roosters in America probably in the late '80s. Late '80s. I, I had went and seen some of my friends were doing it. Obviously, you know, it was uh, it was still legal at the time mm -hmm. in America, and I, I had joined and watched and. And really got interested in it. And, and the long story is, a friend of mine that, that had roosters went to prison. <laughs> Very good friend. I loved him to death. Uh, he's dead and gone now. But his mother called me up and said, Rick, somebody needs to take care of these roosters. You know, they're, yeah. they're running around. They're starting to beat on each other, you know, stags and this, yeah. that, and the other. So I went and called him up. Never really handled a game rooster in my life at that time. And I went and called him up and I had a, another friend of ours show me a little bit of what to do as far as build a pen and separate them and mm -hmm. this and I fell in love with them. I just, I thought it was the greatest thing. It's, you know, they just, they were so good, <coughs> such a beautiful animal. Uh, and I really, really enjoyed having them. And, and of course, you know, the boys around there, uh, they knew I had a little money. So they, they beat up on me for a little while. <laughs> <laughs> but I learned to trade and uh, it ended up being very successful in it and, and done real well. I had a big place. I, like I said, I ran an arena for a couple of years over there. I was a referee in some of the bigger arenas in, in America at the time. Arena of what? Cockfighting arena. Cockfighting, arenas. Cockfighting yeah. 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 So but, in America, you're a breeder and a fighter? Breeder and fighter. Okay. At the same time. Uh, That's why the, over there, we, we condition and handle our own okay. roosters. You know, it ain't like here the referees do the handling. Yeah, 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 over yeah. there, yeah. we do our handling. Now. And I happen to be pretty good at it. I was pretty athletic, and I think athletics had a lot to do with being 
gentle enough and agile enough to, yeah. to handle a rooster in front of an older man or somebody like that was unexperienced. You know, that, that made a big difference getting to your rooster first and knowing what to do, so forth, so on. So I was successful in that. I've yes. done real well and and made a lot of money at it, really. Maybe, I mean, maybe the mayor would ask you if you could join the the club or the group. Well, that, yeah, I want to join some, you know, some associations over here, obviously. I need to get to know people. I don't know many people in this area. I met a, a couple uh, here and there. Uh, me being an American, and I hate to say that. Yeah, yeah, we will uh, we'll introduce you to your, uh, to in our party. Yes, we'll, yes. We will we'll introduce you to, to some. That's, some that'd be great. I, you know, I don't have I don't have a handler here. Obviously, you see, I don't have a gabber. Yeah. You don't have. You, you just condition your. your I own. condition yeah. and feed my roosters to get them ready. Uh, I've went a How couple of times. You you sparring your your chicken. You, you Believe it or not, my girlfriend, which has never handled a rooster in her life, <laughs> <laughs> helps me. Okay. I've showed her how to do it, and she loves to do it. She asked me, "We spar roosters today." <laughs> so she really enjoys, and she feeds for me. She gets up at five o'clock in the morning and starts sure feeding and watering. Um, yeah, yeah, she, she she really enjoys it. Now, I don't know when I start losing money how much she will enjoy <laughs> <laughs> she, she realizes it's a very expensive sport. Yeah. Even to maintain, yeah, yeah, you really, know, build yeah. the facilities that you have to build yeah. to have good roosters. Yeah. Yeah. Especially if you're starting here. Oh, it's, uh, but with the, with his experience, it's a yeah, very promising yeah. business here. I, I love, you know, when I retired, when the you know, when that pandemic hit us, you know, and, and all that stuff in America, and me being a construction owner, business owner. So, in, the, the, during the pandemic, you were in, really in Philippines? No, I had uh, been here back in the 90s. Uh, okay. And, uh, but when that hit us, you know, I, I drag race for a living as well. My construction company and I drag race what's called Pro Mod Series. But, uh, that's very expensive as well. <laughs> when, when in a, you know, the pandemic hit and you couldn't get help, yeah. Uh, very difficult to put people to work. I was trying to find, well, okay, I'm old enough to retire. You know, what am I going to do? And I said, man, I love fighting roosters. Can't fight over here. I had some in America, still yet, mm -hmm. at the time, and, and was winning in bush fights. Um, I said, man, I love the Philippines. Mexico, yeah. maybe. So I started looking around, uh, even Vietnam, Saigon, wherever. And uh, because the language is over here, so well speaking English and it was difficult for me to learn a new a new language. That's why I choose the Philippines, you know, the love of cockfighting and, and the bilingual, you know, that you speak English. So I said, well, that's where I'm going. So, and then obviously three years in the, you know, the pandemic here, we couldn't go nowhere, you couldn't, yeah, yeah. you know. So I had contacted people on Facebook, chicken people and so forth, so on, and, uh, and made a friend, I suppose, from Rojas, and uh, that's where I leased a little farm and decided to, to start. And that's where I ended up at. And we, we, you know, I went over there immediately. The first two derbies we entered, I went. Uh, double derbies, I, double entries, we was winning. I, they just okay. couldn't beat us. Very good. Very, yeah, good. very well. And just, very just very going well. and picking roosters up out of the backyard. So people, uh, you know, they'd have 10 or 12 roosters. I might like two of them. I might not like none you of them. Just pick up and I'd pick up, fight. but I fight them. And they, <laughs> we were doing extremely well. <laughs> And but right now you're starting breeding. Yeah, I'm starting breeding. I, I basically bought roosters from him for that mm. purpose. My black and my, uh, no, my uh, center, center. Oh, the Hannibal black? Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're tough. They're, yeah. they're very, Maybe very good. Very good, start, very good start. Very good start. You would like to come with us with our uh, going to the big farm. So oh, yeah. You want to visit uh, maybe someday. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, like more people going. I can be introduced to and yeah. the more people I meet, the yeah. better I like yes, it. Yes. Yeah. So I'm retired. So this is what I do. In behalf of the Cebuano people, we will come you here in Cebu. Oh, right, right. So that you can. You have a very nice place, sir. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's, it's We have an imported. A uh, uh, member of Team yeah, Kakugi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the farm. I'll let you show the farms that we've been visit, visiting. You have to, uh, you have to uh, enter the derby. Yeah, you gotta be known. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Be known a little bit. And aside from that, we will be your, we will be your marketing. Yeah, yes, yes. Yeah. that would be great. That, that's my plan, so to speak. Uh, 
that's what I done in America a lot. You know, I fought my roosters, I sold my roosters, yeah, but but I fed and conditioned many, many, many. Here in the Philippines, sir, one of the advantages here in, in the Philippines, one of the advantages here, you must go to the uh, popular farms mm -hmm. to get uh, material. legit material. Right. When you, when you get to the farm and get the legit material, when you sell, it's very easy to sell because yeah. they know that, that particular brand. Yeah. yeah. That so you, speak, you did. Agree. You go to the farm and you really pick us. Maybe so that maybe yeah. someday we'll come. Then, you, then yeah. create, then create your signature line. Oh, well, that's then, you, everybody you, wants to know. So what kind of hats you got? I said, yeah. what's it different? Yeah, no, no, green legged. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but here in the Philippines, it's the brand is more. Important. I know. Yeah, I see that. What kind of sweater? Do it a five K? Yeah. Is that possible? Uh, that some someone will ask you that. <laughs> where farm? Where, where did you? Where, yeah. where farm? You, uh, did you get your five K? Where well, did your farm? I've you mentioned that. My, yeah, well, my roosters are coming from him and everybody yeah. knows him already. Yeah. Lots yeah. of people yeah. know Hannibal him. Hannibal knows that. Mm -hmm. what so that's a big plus. Everybody knows that uh, Hannibal Game Farm yeah. is fun. And Tick Boy Game Legit. Farm. Tick Boy Game Farm? Tick Boy Game Farm? Uh, we also breed. Me and our group is, we, we breed. Then we go to big farms. Well, that, that's how yeah. we sort of played in America. We had three or four of us a yeah. sort of tag team. You know, yeah, and we we would not all be at the same derby every time, but you might go to this wow. derby, he might go there, yeah, and we yeah. would split our entry fees. Oh, yeah, and our yeah, yeah. And, and it worked out real well. Yeah. It was very it was very profitable that way. You really yeah. need. That's to... what what we did in Bacolod. Uh, mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, my, my, he bought one my, roaster. I have my chicken. Two roasters. Two roasters. <laughs> Me also. Yeah. Then. We combine. We, we combine. combine. Right, yeah. right, right, right. So, we, we name it Team Kakugi. Well, when you, when you go like the Sunset, you know, Big Derby in America, there would be 12 cots. You know, three. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's hard to take 12 of your own rooster, so yeah. I might get four from you, four yeah, from yeah, you, yeah. four of mine, to, and to, we go so, down there. To lessen the quad expenses. Yeah, a little bit of that too, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When they want to bet this big money, you might not have it, but they get, <laughs> yeah. they'd be up, boys. <laughs> 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 Yeah, it, that, it, that's the way we done it. It was very successful. And it, it makes it easier on you. It makes it more fun, too. Yeah, yeah. You, know, you have somebody to, you know, yeah. To, yeah. to share your experiences with. It's a yeah, lot more fun. Yeah, yeah. If we went there, if we will go there, uh, where the derby is, uh, whole team. Yeah. Okay. Maybe. It, 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 it's fun. More fun. It's fun. It's fun. More fun. He, he, he's in charge of the pointing. Uh huh. Yeah, right. And he's in charge for the. <laughs> the, 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 the you had your dropper. Yeah. yeah. What we call handle in America. But she's yeah. in charge of the. Even now we, Kicking we, the IT. Yeah. <laughs> then during the fight, uh, he will. Buhi, it's a turn. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah release the rust. Right. 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 It's so hard for me to pick a good rooster. So what I look at is maybe who's turning it. Yeah, 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 you know? yeah, yeah. If I see a young kid, yeah. I may bet against him if I see somebody like yeah, him. Yeah. yeah. You know? So but then he'll have he'll have this kid here facing the rooster and then he'll come in. I, I bet the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> so depending on your gut feel. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, it's I've not learned it here and all this this stuff I and this stuff. Yeah. CTGs. <laughs> yeah. I figured it first, out. Yeah. The cockfight in here first. You have yeah, to absurd. go to the cockfit arena. Yeah. You just you just uh observe, observe, yeah, yeah. observe the si the well when they the see symbol, an American the... come in there though everybody want to bang on bang on bang on I say yeah I bet five thousand next thing I know they're doing this and yeah, this yeah, yeah, yeah. and this <laughs> Yeah, just I'm not sure what all it is. <laughs> just the... But I'm learning. Yeah. I'm learning. Have it's you... very easy to learn easy. because you're doing it already in US. Yeah. 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 yeah well, in America, I try to tell them, we lay odds. You know, we either lay or we call. You know, we're doing this, this and this. Yeah. Uh, still, uh, I'm still figuring, computing that. You know? <laughs> I'm getting some of it. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, it's a little bit by, different. Here in the Philippines, by sorry. By uh, different languages, for example, Cebuano, Bisaya, but in, you are in Bacolod, yeah, different, different language, but the same sign. Yeah, the same, same signs. signs. Yeah. <laughs> but I was. Over there, I was I was only you know I was conditioning and and of course I was doing the release and over there so I didn't gamble a lot mm, so I did know just I picked just up on it. Yeah, I yeah. was I was basically there to fight roosters yeah. so 
so I wasn't get on, on my own, you know, I said, yeah, let's bet 20000 or 10000 or whatever. And I didn't worry about it after that, you know, mm. just paid me my money. And, uh, but as far as going in, in the in arena itself and, you know, sitting in the stands and betting, I, I didn't do a lot of that. Yeah. I was interested in my roosters, taking care of them, so forth, so on. Yeah. But uh, here, just, just going to the two or three places I've been, mm -hmm. trying to get to know people, trying to find a gather, you know, things like that. Yeah, well, and, yeah I've done that. So, so <laughs> as of the moment, you are yeah. so focused. Uh, yes. Do you have a wing scale? No, I don't have scales here. <laughs> Well, no, I, I've not bought a set of scales yet. That's my cock house over there. But I don't have scales here yet. Um, the only thing that we've done here... Yeah, I got my incubators over here. Where did you buy that incubator? From a gentleman in Cebu. I mean, in no car park. Ah, car car. Yeah, there. Yeah. Uh, obviously... Here in my happy here. Mm -hmm. There's also another business in incubating eggs. Yeah. You accept eggs for incubation, then I, they will I did, pay. I did one one gentleman. Uh, I did it take I don't know maybe 20 eggs he had in I think it was still in November mm. and uh, hatched them for him, but I didn't charge him. Mm. Yeah, I, I thought he'd be my friend. I'd just here, yeah, I'd do it for you. I didn't have many eggs, yeah. So yeah. I was just being helpful. Yeah. So as of the moment, you are focusing first the breeding. Yeah, that's you know that's my. I gotta have roosters in order to show, and I don't I don't have a whole lot as you see, maybe twenty. Mm. Uh, I think there's maybe thirteen stags and they're, three they're, blocks. They are discussing regarding the uh, derbies here in the Philippines because we usually. Uh, every derbies, we have a uh, way, way uh, uh, standard. Right, 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 right. One point seven, one point eight, sir. Tep, one point seven, one point eight, and stags, kilo, kilograms during the derby. One point seven. One point seven, it's okay. Two point two, two point two kilograms. One of my breeds uh, are here. I won't be able to fight them in stags. Now yours I will. I'm keeping their weight down. Yeah. I think I'll be all right. Anyway, uh, you have this, my star there, you know? Mm-hmm. I have uh, the red one or the black one. I have yeah. three of them out here. I'll show you. Yeah. Uh, you want to walk out there? Yeah, they, they, can, they can fight uh, stags. Yeah. yeah they're national two. born. Yes, yeah, national born. And, uh, <laughs> binanggit natin yan, guys, kasi uh, baka doon sa kanila, basta yes. US, hindi sila nag-rely on mga ways baka fight fight lang so uh, it's better before I forgot to to remind him that we have a weight scheduling or weight uh, standards We, we call what we call a dime stag, which is a baby stag, nickel stag, which is a middle aged stag, and then a bull stag or a quarter stag. Our derby, oh. sir, we only accept the national and the late born. Right. But yeah. Yeah. Because of the associations, yeah, there are a lot of associations. Is, 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 this is, is okay. Join this is an this association. Okay. That's okay. And, yeah. Uh, and then have someone come out here and band. Uh, yes. The gentleman yesterday asked me how many I had ready for November. I got nine stags ready to band it. Uh, November hats. Maybe, 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 maybe December cocker, cocker. hats, I don't know yet. Uh, December hats, uh, it's uh, local. Local, local December. Yeah. Yeah. Then so, January stag will be a national. Okay. January, February. You have to breed March. January, February, more. Okay. Because they are fighting uh, more. Okay. There's, the the, the national. All, the all national. All the Philippines, they can fight. So that's what I'm trying to do. Is if I can belong or join an association, and then obviously I can get on Facebook or on their their website, and I can look at these rules and, okay, and okay. regulations. Uh, yes. And then I'll know what to do, what yes. not to do. Right and, now, I don't. No, you but know. we can help you, sir. But sure. you must spread more on January, February, okay. and March. Okay. Yeah. Because that is the national 
uh, association. Yeah. So there's a lot of derbies there, and some of the buyers will look for national, national bandit. Yeah. 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 They can fight anywhere. anywhere. And uh, what uh, are the associations for national? Bakbakan, WPC, and Digmaan. Digmaan. So yeah. just remember that, uh, Sir Rick. Bakbakan, Bakan. Digmaan. Digmaan, and WPC. WPC. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> As of now, sir, there are how many roasters here, Golded? I think I have around uh, 13 stags and maybe 10 cocks. 13? 13 stags and around 10 cocks. I yeah. think that's what's here right now. Maybe around 100 new hats. Mm. So, 100 new hats? Yeah. yeah. And we, we hope to get at least another 100 uh, so we can get 100 stags out of that, I hope. Yeah. That's the plan. So, uh, when are you planning to sell some? There's, you know, I mean, depending on the age they want, you know, I'll, I'll sell them as day olds or ah, okay, any any anywhere in between, it's, uh, whatever one wants and how much money they want to spend. Okay, yeah. so that's much like it because people will know you. Uh, by the time I upload it, once this is uploaded uh -huh. on my channel, okay. Maybe some people will visit you. Yeah, absolutely. More than welcome. Just just call me. I'm here pretty much every day. Uh, you know, I run to the grocery store and the feed store. And, <laughs> you know, hopefully I get to go to a few derbies here before long. Yes. But but yeah, I'm here. All they got to do is call or PM me, you know, message me, and I'll, I'll you know. So by the welcome. way, sir, uh, let me ask. Uh, uh, can you give us your Facebook account? Yeah, it's Ricky Smith or Rick Smith. Um, there's a lot of ricks out there, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. Uh, mine, uh, I think I have a, I just have to show you a picture. I think I'm wearing an orange t-shirt. Orange t-shirt. Uh, one of them's got a race car, my pro mod car on there as, as profile photo. Mm. That's, that's the one that I'm on. I haven't changed it. I have a new account that I've just started. It's called uh, First Flight. First Flight. GL. Mm -hmm. Uh, on that particular one, I think I, I got a standing with the rooster in front of that. Well, okay. Uh, as my profile picture. So I, I, I will look for it. Yes. And yes. post it here. Yes, please. Mm -hmm. Please do. Look guys. This is sort of my cock house. Cock right house. Where we're, you know, we port them out. Uh, you just built it? Or yeah, you... well, we bought some of this and I built some. I built all this stuff down here and, and bought these. And these are one of my tricks in America. When I put them in the tube of twos to rest, it's a good idea for me to, to see their stool. Yeah, mm. yeah. So yeah, I can yeah, adjust yeah, the feed thing. where it need more oh, yeah, moisture, yeah, less yeah, moisture. Yeah, yeah. So they poop on this. I look at it in the morning and I know how to adjust. Yeah. Stick, they're sick. Yeah. Right, right. That's, That's one good. of the things that I brought over That's here. That's a very seasoned uh, uh, trick. Yeah, yeah. 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 something. And of course, I do a little bit of hand work, not a, not a ton. 
I like to calm them down. I think, yeah. you, I think you, you know what you're doing. Well, we try. Uh, <laughs> He's veteran in U.S. Veteran in cocking. Same. This, my setup in America huh? is about the same as this. Good boy. Uh, this is uh, used for uh, yeah, preparation, hand working, handling, hand working, yeah. hand working, hand working, exercises. Getting calm But stop! Don't don't do, do hard look. Yeah, hard, I don't do a lot. Yeah. Basically, even with my cocks over here, because you know the knife fighting is that fast. How much does he need? You know. So yeah. basically, I use that to, to massage him. Yeah. To yeah. Rub him. And it's uh, just calm him the, down. The different the training of the stag and the cock. Oh yeah. yeah just you, you just uh, just the stag. This this so this is. So, handmade lang nila to guys mga kakogi talagang ano talagang season veterano to ano? talagang talagang alam talagang alam ni Sir Rick kung ano yung pagmamanok mga kakogi even to the last ano na yung sa preparation yung maglagay ka ng pang, para sa ano ba pang manual manual na ano uh, training meron siya nun Tingnan nyo mga kaugi na Okay so Talagang ano ko dito Kasi Kadalasan hindi na, hindi na nilalagyan ito eh Yung mga ano natin Mga flying fence natin Ko dito nilalagyan niya Para Lagyan ng Patuka So aakit lang dyan yung manok Patuka dyan Hindi na marurun yan Tapos yung tubig Nakabito yung mga Tapos dun dadapo ang manok Paggabi Tapos nilagyan niya ng mga grass Dried grass What are those chicks, sir? Building these as we go, these will be basically my stag pins Yeah uh, Once I take them out of the stag yard and I put them in here before I tie them out Let's um, go Roost pole in there, yeah Yeah, yeah we don't have a stag, so I didn't put a roost in there yet Stag pants, talagang ginastusan niya guys oh Gamit niya ano, kabilya Tapos si Ero Yung style niya sa paglalagay ng TP, American talaga na pwede makatago yung ano, mga manok yung manok mga baril mga latun ang tawag ng grab potensyal nito ni ano, Mr. Rick Smith mga kakugi kasi unang una may idea na siya uh, familiar na siya sa pag pag prepare familiar na siya sa breeding ang isa lang problema guys is hindi niya kabisado yung mga klase ng mga manok na nandito sa atin kaya sa ngayon uh, rainbow pa halo halo pa yung mga manok na nandito mga kakugi so hopefully matulungan natin matulungan namin si Sir Rick dito sa kanyang breeding 
at dito sa kanyang pagmamanok mga kogi so at least mayroon na tayong imported Amerikano na member ng team Kakugi Totoo mga Kakugi, uh, tutulungan na namin si Sir Rick Smith para ma 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 magkumpit ma din siya sa market ba mm -hmm. Kaawa-awa naman mga Kogi kasi uh, na naanad siya sa Amerika ba mm -hmm. Tama uh, Tsaka dito sa atin sa Pilipinas mga Kakugi, marami kasing klasik-klasing mga manok no? So, uh, ano natin, itry natin na uh, Uh, maisama si Boswick, si Sir Rick sa mga biyahe natin papuntang Bacolod or kung saan man uh, hopefully uh, dito sa Naga may ano tayo may matulungan tayo na potential, very promising yung ano ni, ano, ni Boswick kaawa-awa naman mga kakuki kasi hindi niya alam yung mga bloodline, marami siyang mga bloodline dito nga, mga native, mga native eh. tapos Gasto siya, maawa naman tayo sa pan, tao, mm. tahat kalungan natin, bigyan natin sa magandang materials, baka sa Red Game Farm, makasama natin si Sir Rick yung yeah. sa AG. It's coming July or June. July or June. O oh. oh. oh, baka maisama natin siya sa uh, Davao. Sa Davao. Oh. Kasi after derby, punta kami doon sa Idol Doyet Lapido. Ah, Doyet ba? Doyet, Doyet. Oh. Yun. Tsaka baka makabalik kami sa Bacolod, maisama natin si, ano, si Sir Rick. para ma-meet din niya yung iba pang mga nag mga nagmamanok mga kugi na mga kilala. Yun. Ayun ma'am, ikaw mo ma'am, ikaw mo Dala, dala man Dala siya American bully pero ang isod sa rohe Dako kayo Baby pa, baby pa Oo Yes, yes sir Guys, kaya nga naka gawian natin Kain mo na tayo, let's eat Kaya kaya ma'am, wala mo na siya sa pangkong Tagalog na nga ma'am Ah, okay. Ah, taga. English, English, Tagalog, Bisaya, Nagusagun. Ah, mga kamay, sir, no? Yeah, hanging rice, puso. Okay na, sir. Ito guys, mga kakugi. Ang sarap ng kwintuhan namin. Talagang, ano, season na talaga ito siya, no? Si Mr. Smith sa pagmamanok. Kaya... Ano kami? Uh, natuwa kami nung magkwento siya kanina guys so hindi, hindi lang namin na video kasi nandun kami kung habang kumakain ba so, yun so thankful thankful tayo mga kakugi na may na meet tayo at saka uh, we welcome na lang din natin si Mr. Smith na magiging member ng team kakugi <laughs> meron tayong American member of team kakugi yan One of these days, dadalhin namin si Mr. Smith doon kay sa farm ni Boss Jojo Saso para makita rin niya yung mga manok na mga kelso doon. So, guys, mga kakugi. Yeah. So, guys, mga kakugi, it's a wrap. Thank you, guys. Enjoy very much. Yan, yeah. welcome to Team Kakugi. Yes, sir. Yan. Yeah. So, guys, Hanggang dito na lang muna ang episode na ito. Hanggang sa muli nating pagkikita together with Mr. Smith. Baka isasama-sama natin siya guys sa lahat ng mga lakad natin na malapit lang dito sa kanina na madaanan natin siya. So guys, tandaan palagi, basta magkugi, doon ay maani. Okay! Alright!